to that which I don't see. Okay, so this area here is the existing building and we've got a bit of a complex here, plaza. So it's in existence. This driveway is in existence. This is a proposed building that's off to our left here. It's not actually constructed yet. And these are the storm lines that we're here to inspect. So our challenge is finding them in this otherwise abandoned land where they've put in some curbing and the base outlay for the, the driveway. There are no measurements on here either. So when we find one, we know the next one. We can see the lead when we open up a manhole, which is where the pipe is going, what direction it's going. But without measurements, we can't even go out and say, all right, it's 20 meters that way or 110 meters that way. And we can use our measuring wheel and, and wheel out and see where it might be. So we're really at a loss here to try and find this because there's such a layer of construction base material that they put down here. Um, we believe it's buried quite a ways. A number of these are. So we're working through them. We found a lot of them, but we're still missing about three. So the team's just wrapping up for the day here at this particular project location. And they spent most of the day working on the storm sewer systems, not the sanitary systems. And learned a bunch of things that weren't on the original plans. So first of all, the original plans had multiple lines that weren't actually accessible, some collapsed pipes. And we also found some lines that came in, some laterals into these that weren't on the plan. So that was the first thing. But as we worked from the north part of the property down here to where I'm standing, the storm drains surprisingly changed a bunch of different times. And here's what I mean by that. The first storm drain running from the west to the east on the north end of the lot, which flows east downstream, was a 300 mil pipe. Then it went into a manhole chamber and changed to a 400 mil and continued to flow down the 400 mil into another chamber. At that point, it turned to a 750. This all makes sense. The water that gets picked up at the first part adds as it moves along, so you need the pipe to get bigger and bigger to be able to handle the drainage capacity. We all know our challenges, especially in Toronto, Mississauga recently with flooding and water, storms need to be big enough to be able to handle that. But here's where it got weird. This particular manhole behind me, it has another inlet into it and it went from 300 to a 400 to a 750 getting bigger, comes into this manhole and exits as a 100. Now how can you get the flow of water from a 3, a 4 and a 750 even back to a 4 to actually flow through into a 100? millimeter pipe which is somewhere around a decimeter right so it's a very small pipe so that's a particular challenge and that's the type of information that this customer is looking for they need to know their drainage issues their drainage challenges and what capacity they'll need for that project 